a series on new python libraries that we are discovering these days and i hope you liked the last video so let's get started with the new video so uh for this video as you saw the thumbnail and the title we have found a new library called term color right and this library allows you to print text in uh, like color text in terminal and highlight it and change change text attributes right so I'm really excited to show you this library and let's just dive quickly into how we can get it started. So before doing this, I want to explain you why someone would like to use this library. So basically, imagine a code where you're like are printing many statements. It looks very clustered and doesn't seem very nice and not very readable. Imagine you could print the statements colored and you could give it certain kind of highlighting like the error statements could be printed in red whereas the past statements could be in green. So that is what we're aiming for, right? To get a specific color for specific things so that it looks very neat and very readable to the user who's gonna read through terminal, right? So how do we do this? So first of all, from term color, which is the name of the library, we import colored. Now, as you see, we do not have term colored installed, right? I'll do a quick Google search to show you how you can install it via terminal. You just Google how do you install term color. Right, if you see this is the official documentation. By like documentation is obviously somewhere down here as a link, but this is on the Python uh, uh, website. How do you do a download it, right? Pip install term color is the name. I'll quickly just grab open the terminal. Right, we got a terminal here. We paste this command and let it download. Right, we have our library installed. Now I want to show you how do we use this. The first print statement is as simple as our normal print statement. But the only thing different here is you type in colored. Let's just go with this. We want to type in hello world. I am green. Right. And all you have to do is pass in the color name that is green. We we'll just quickly run this. Python 3 main.py and as you can see hello world i am green it is a green color let's just try something else print colored hello world i am red right let's just run the code again here you can see green and red you could keep doing this for multiple colors i'll just show you one with let's go with purple Okay, yellow seems fine. I really want to do a purple. Print colored. Hello world. I am purple. Purple does exist. Right? So that is what we are aiming for. I might get an error over here because this is at the wrong position and we put a comma over here and purple two commas i'll just run the script again sorry it shows it gives me a key error that purple does not exist i guess it is magenta now right let's just try again okay magenta also doesn't exist Let's just keep it as it is and let's print it in yellow for now. So there's definitely a way to put hex codes which we'll be discussing further. But before diving into that, I want to show you how you can also change the attribute of the text, right? So let's do a print colored hello world, I am green. Okay, and the attribute is, let's not get so complicated this fast, but I want to show you a simple attribute which would be to bold the text right how do we bold it so you just simply type in bold as an attribute and pass it right so now if i were to run this you would see that we have 
a hello world i am green and bold what else you can do is i'll just simply copy paste the string right now let's just try giving it a red let's just play around with hello world for now you could add an underline to it as well right let's just try the same thing with an underline we got an underline right so it keeps getting cooler and cooler the more you play around with it now what we want to do is let's copy paste this again let's go with yellow now let's try for two things we wanna bold it and also underline it let's just try running this so here you see yellow hello world which is bold also underlined so there are things that you can play around with now i see auto copilot suggesting me to do something on red let's just try what that does oh on red basically means that you are able to highlight the thing so that is hello world in green on red so this is basically highlighting okay what else can we do print colored hello world red on green see so the possibilities of using this library are endless the way you can combine multiple attributes and multiple colors together is what you can play around with i'm really excited to see what does um blink do does it blink because i haven't played around with the library so well but i really want to see what does blink do let's just try blink for once i do not see any difference as such so yeah anyways uh thanks for joining on joining us in this video and i'm pretty sure there will be more to this library that we'll bring in the next video